today I'm going to show you how to transform your wheels just using some spray paint from Walmart. Let's go ahead and get started with this process. What's going on everybody? Um, so today we're going to be painting these wheels right here that I got from the local junkyard. Um, I ended up getting these for $100. Um, they're really nice shape. They're 15 inch. I'm not sure the brand. Only two of them have the center caps. But basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to keep the lip polished, tape that off. And then we're going to be painting the silver part on the face and on the inside. Um, these will hold my drag slicks that I ordered for the Civics. We've got the supercharged daily with cold AC. We're going to take it to the track, just see what it runs quarter mile time. It's on E85 and it's pretty quick. Put a little clip here of it going through the gears. <laughs> That's pretty quick for what it is, for being a daily stock engine with a supercharger thrown on. Sorry about all the noise, we've got tons of helicopters, military base is literally right on the other side. Um, so they're doing the practicing. But we got the Red Civic, it's turboed. Um, we're going to end up redoing this paint job here soon. I know a lot of you are probably like, why? Looks good. I'll go over that later in another video. But uh, yeah, so we're going to be redoing this, so you'll get another paint video as well. And I ended up putting these wheels on. They were white um, that I painted on my yellow Civic from like last year that had that yellow hood on it. We ended up uh, sanding these down last night, polishing the lip and painting those uh, black. So that's basically what we're going to be doing with these. Tape them off, sand them, prime them, paint them, clear them, and then I'll put drag slicks on too and the other two will just get normal tires. Also selling these Integra wheels, uh, three out of the four have really good tread. The fourth one's pretty jacked up. It's bubbled out. As you can see, it's pretty bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray some purple power or just some CRC degreaser on these. Then we'll pressure wash them with our cheap Sunjo pressure washer I got from Walmart for like $69. And uh, then we'll go from there. So enjoy the video. All right, so I'm just gonna be using purple power in a dollar spray bottle from Walmart, spraying them down scrubbing them and then hitting them with the pressure washer. Got them all cleaned up. They came out really nice and really clean. That purple power is pretty good stuff. Um, to get these spots in here cleaned, uh, use a toothbrush. You can get a pack of them at Dollar Tree for a dollar. So that's what I usually do. I just buy a couple packs of them so I can clean them and uh, pressure wash them. And they look pretty good. So now we've got to tape the lip up. Um, you'll have to tape in there very carefully and get it all the way in there, all the way around. And I'm just going to do the lips on these, tape them up, and then we'll scuff these up with some 320 grit, which I have right over here. And uh, after that's done, we'll wipe them down with some acetone or isopropyl alcohol water mixture, or just whatever I have. And uh, make sure it's a clean rag or something. And then we will prime them, then we will paint them black, and then we will hit it, hit it with the clear. So I'm going to go ahead and get to taping.
nice all the way around on all of them. So that process took me 19 minutes. Of course, sped up, it didn't seem like 19 minutes. Now, if you're gonna be doing this with tires on the wheels, you'll definitely wanna put some like note cards or playing cards or something in between the lip of the wheel and the tire, and then uh, either plastic or tape the rest off or whatever, um, because you don't wanna get that overspray on it. But since these do not have the tires, it should be pretty simple. Now I'm gonna go ahead and scuff these up with 320 grit. And uh, after that's done, we'll wipe them down. I just, I'm gonna be using some of these cloth-like rags from Walmart and some either the acetone or isopropyl alcohol, one of the two. And uh, after it's wiped down, we'll go ahead and start hitting some primer down. And then after the primer's dry, we'll lay down some gloss black and then the clear. So we'll go ahead and get started. automotive primer this is really good stuff um, this is dark gray I just chose a dark color since it's gonna go black I'm gonna put this on make sure everything's covered on the inside and outside facing of the wheel on the inside and the outside of the wheel um, after that's dry we'll hit it with the Rust-Oleum advanced formula this to me is the best spray paint that Rust-Oleum made um, that I have tried yet it stays shiny for a long time, even without a clear coat. And uh, it takes a little longer to dry, but it's worth it because it has 30% greater color retention and uh, corrosion resistance. And this is what I painted my lime green G35, if you don't remember, um, just with the willow green instead of black. Really good stuff, highly recommend it. Then about 10 to 15 minutes after that coat is done, I'll be hitting it with the Advanced Formula Gloss Clear Enamel. This is probably Rust-Oleum's best clear coat that I have used as well. Um, I prefer 2K Clear from Spray Max or out of the spray gun, but when I don't have that, this stuff comes in second place. So this stuff is pretty decent for what it is. Um, it's not a two-part system, it's a one-part, but it works really good for small things like wheels and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and lay the primer down. I'm going to turn the fan on so it kind of pulls the fumes out of here. Make sure to wear a respirator and be in a well ventilated area. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So there it 
gloss black. It's been drying for about five minutes. I'm probably gonna let it dry for another five, and then we're gonna hit it with the um, Rust-Oleum gloss enamel. Now, I, like I said, I prefer the 2K clear. Um, sometimes I just leave it as it is because it's shiny enough without the clear, but this is just an extra step. Um, about five more minutes and then we'll hit it with the clear. All right, just a tip for everyone else. Um, I don't know if you see, but I always test fire these first just to make sure they're not spraying funky before I spray. That's just another tip. But now it's been dried for about 10 minutes. I mean, it's still tacky. I like to paint when it's tacky because I've had reaction issues when you put like clear over fully cured uh, Rust-Oleum, it starts wrinkling up and I'm not sure why it does that. Um, so I like to just hit it while it's tacky and it usually comes out pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the clear over it. First wheel is done, pretty glossy, looks pretty good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the other three real quick and I'll just speed it up for you. coat these three and I want to show you why. So this is just with the Rust-Oleum Advanced Formula, no clear whatsoever. And this is with the clear. See how much duller it looks compared to the rest? See how that dull finish is compared to this one and that one? I don't like putting the clear on unless it's a 2K for this reason. It did dole it up, so I'm probably going to hit another coat of gloss over this uh, just to kind of shine it up a little bit. But the rest of them have no clear, and I've never had issues not putting clear on them. They don't really sun fade. It, this Rust-Oleum really knows their stuff when it comes to the spray can stuff because it's not like your typical spray paint. Um, I don't know how to express it other than saying that they just really came up with a good product. It doesn't sun fade very easy and uh, it's really nice and really good shine. Now this Rust-Oleum Advanced Formula is a little bit different than the 2X Rust-Oleum. Not 2K, don't get it confused, the 2X paints. For example, this is paint plus primer, 2X, meaning ultra coverage, two times the coverage. It doesn't mean 2K or two part. Um, and that paint right here tends to actually dry a lot faster, which does dull the paint. Um, I think that's what happens with their clear coats as well because it dulls really easily. But this stuff stays super glossy. So I just wanted to show you that and explain that, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the tape off and we'll see what these things look like. Another tip is when you're pulling tape, pull away from the paint Never pull towards the paint, because that's how you get the tape in the paint. And I like to peel the tape while the paint's tacky, because I've had an issue before where I wait till it's fully cured, and it pulls up the paint like it's part of the tape now. And while it's wet, you can kind of break the tape, and it breaks the, the, uh, the paint off the tape. So it doesn't pull the paint with it. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain, but you have to accidentally do it to know what I'm talking about. So it's best for me to pull the tape while the paint is tacky. You just got to be kind of careful not to let it touch the paint.
all four of them are painted and the tape is taken off. This fourth one I actually went and put another coat of gloss black which finished off the can and these other ones still look really good. No clear over them. Like I said, this advanced formula stuff is out of this world. It's a really good product. Um, and I'm not endorsed by Rust-Oleum in any way. They do not sponsor me or pay me or anything to say this. I just really like their products. They work really well. Now, I did use this entire can, completely empty, this entire can of the primer and barely any of the clear since I decided not to use it. But I think this one can would have went through four, four wheels. Um, but it's not 2K, so I wasn't really into it. So I just prefer 2K. And I'll show you how good these fan filters work when you do them with just a cheap house filter. They work at uh, filtering the air pretty well. So if this garage was shut, all of that would have went out there. And it worked pretty well because I was painting it there and you can see where all of it just sucked it out to keep the overspray down. But uh, yeah, came out awesome. These will work great for the drag tires. I'll be putting the two drag tires on one of these two wheels and uh, then the other two will just get normal tires so I can slap these on the cars whenever I go to the drag strip and I'll have a set of drag wheels. A lot of you probably wanted me just to keep them the aluminum that they were, but I don't know, I like black with polished lip. It's just something I like, it's me. But uh, yeah, definitely came out pretty good. I did want to show you that I only used the one can of advanced formula and the one can of primer. So uh, I can take these back or put them in my mini, mini spray can collection down here. Um, but yeah, I don't know if that will work the same way for you, but I would get at least two cans if you're doing wheels of each, just in case. I've been spraying with spray paint for a very long time. Um, so I have a method that works for me, so it might not work for others. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. But if you guys like this video, I have many more like this in my playlist. Uh, definitely check them out. If you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. Definitely hit the like button and definitely drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys think of these spray painted wheels. Now, a lot of you will probably say they won't last very long and that's not entirely true because I have rode around on spray painted wheels for years with no clear over them and they've lasted a long time. Um, I like to put a ceramic coat or, you know, like a knockoff ceramic coat, whatever you want to call it, some type of wax on them after they're fully cured and it helps keep them fresh for a long time. So it's probably what I'll end up doing. And I need to polish the lips up a little bit uh, with steel wool. Uh, it's a fine steel wool number 0000 or whatever it is. Uh, that's what I'll use, but since these are still tacky and wet, I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna let them fully cure and then throw the drag slicks on them. Oh yeah, before I forget, some people will comment on how you're not supposed to paint this area. Um, because that's where it seats the hub. I've never had that issue where it causes a problem. So I've worked at many different tire shops and none of them have complained about stuff like that. Now, if there's a huge rust chunk or something, they'd like us to sand them down or wire wheel them, but normal paint doesn't affect that. So I've been over 135 in this car, the orange one up front, and my SRT4 was over 160, so and I've never had any issues with it. So I just wanted to point that out real quick. But uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching the video. Um, I've been really busy and I have plans for that car and more paint stuff on this channel. So definitely stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys in the next video. So God bless, stay safe, and stay awesome.